Hello, I'm going to do the Scorpio weekly energy reading for March 3rd to March 9th. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not, as that may be meant for someone else. We're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with this week, the advice from the tarot, and future energies. So lovers could be your struggling with a relationship. It also could have to do with a Gemini. We have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of closing down or shutting down um, within a relationship. All right, so a friendship. It could be a friendship because I feel like the Queen of Pentacles represents a friendship. Then we have the Eight of Wands. All right, kind of had a lot of cards kind of Flipping over there. <laughs> okay, so we have the lovers and we have the four of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles. We have the eight of wands. We have the page of pentacles and we have the moon. I feel that there may be, <clears throat> for some reason, there, there could be, it could have to do with a friendship. It could have to do with a partnership. It could do with a family member. But I feel like something's happened where I feel like you're starting to shut down within the relationship. There's some sort of deception that's going on. I feel that something seems different to you. Something's feeling different within this relationship. It could be the feelings that you have within yourself that maybe they're changing with this person. Sometimes we're in relationships and we start to grow out of those relationships and we start to see things differently and we start to look at things differently. And we kind of, we don't feel the same way that we used to about that person or that relationship. Or it could be a job that you have. It could just be a situation that you're not feeling the same way, that you're not liking it as much as you used to or you did before. And that's okay. Like that happens. But I feel like you're struggling with that. I also feel like you need to be aware of the fact that you might be shutting down with that, right? That you're you're starting to close off, that you're with that four of pentacles, that you're you're kind of putting those walls up around yourself and I feel like that's something that you need to be aware of that if there's something that's gone on that um, it could also be that there's a relationship that you feel is moving too quickly with the eight of wands eight of wands could also be scattered energy is that sometimes you're like okay maybe things will get better or my feelings will change sometimes we try to convince ourselves that oh I'll feel better if this person just does this or does that or you know, we kind of make those reasons or those excuses and we say, well, if I do this or they do that, then I'll feel better about it. But really, it's like, you know, inside whether or not you feel right about a relationship or not, you you know, the truth inside. And sometimes we just don't want to face that, that we just kind of want to ignore that we want to ignore the red flags, we just kind of want to force or push something and in, into ourselves kind of convince ourselves to like a situation or a person or kind of to like something but we feel like you know what it's just not it's just not happening um so i feel like you're you're sort of struggling with that but i also feel like you need to be aware of the fact that you're starting to get into this four of pentacles energy and starting to close yourself off sometimes like people can tell um you know like and maybe they're they're kind of seeing it and they're saying like you're starting to act different, that you're starting to kind of back away. And we can pick that up with other people. And we notice that, you know, you're just not acting the way that you were before and that you're just not, you know, the communication isn't there or things, something's starting to feel different. And people pick up on that. And sometimes they don't always acknowledge it or say it, but I feel like you're just starting to back away and you're starting to shut down. We have the, um, a knight of swords and we have the seven of wands i feel like you're kind of having trouble taking actions um i feel like you're having trouble really acknowledging what's going on here and then we have the knight of wands and i feel like one more we have eight of wands again <laughs> so you have that tw that twice here I, I usually don't pick this many cards but they were just kind of coming out so I just wanted to go with it. Eight of Wands. I. It could be that something is moving too quickly for you. Sometimes in relationships, sometimes the other person is 
<clears throat> really excited or that they're trying to push the relationship or the, situa the situation more forward and, and you're feeling hesitant and you're not really sure about it. You're not really sure about what you want to do or you're not really sure about what's going on. And when you feel pushed into something, then it almost, it causes you to back away from it and it causes you to be like, like, wait a minute, like, hold on. So I kind of feel that that's what's going on here. And let's grab some advice. Oh, we have the Queen of Wands was kind of facing outright. We have the Page of Cups and we have the Ace of Cups. I feel like it's, I feel that it's, what are your two emotions or feelings on the situation? And I feel like it's being true to that. And I also feel like with the Queen of Wands is um, that taking control of the situation and facing the reality of how you really feel about the situation. Because I feel like, you, I feel like you're in denial. For some reason, I feel like you're kind of in denial and you're trying to convince yourself and like you're hesitant in the situation, but yet um, like you keep moving forward with it. And I just feel that there's some confusion going on there with the two eight of wands. And I feel that things are moving quicker than you want them to happen. And I feel like there's some confusion. And I feel like you don't want to be forced into making a decision or to doing something that you don't feel comfortable with. And I feel like that's something that you kind of have to realize and you have to you know, you kind of have to get that Queen of Wands energy and you have to say, you know what, this isn't quite feeling right to me and I don't want to be forced into doing something that I'm not feeling comfortable with or I don't want to have to, even within yourself, like maybe you're trying to convince yourself. Yeah, Five of Wands. All right. And then we have the the King of Cups and then we have the, the Star, which is Aquarius. I feel like it's finding that way to get yourself back on track. I feel that I, we have three, one, we have the page of cups, we have the ace of cups, and we have the king of cups. So I feel that there's a lot of emotions going on here. And the advice is to really get in touch with those emotions and those feelings. And I, I feel like with the five of wands, I almost feel like it's confronting the situation. Confronted for what it is. And to get yourself back on track with this star card. And I kind of go with the emotions that I'm feeling and I feel like stuck, like I feel overwhelmed and I feel stuck. So that's what I feel like going on here. And I feel like when you get overwhelmed and you feel stuck, then you start to shut down and you start to close off. Because if thing, something becomes too overwhelming, it's like you don't even want to deal with it. And you're just like, you know what? You just shut down and shut down and not do anything. And that's not a good thing. But I feel like it's kind of standing up to the plate. It's, it's, it's like confronting the situation. I feel like that's what that card represents there. It's to confronting the situation, even though there may be some anxiety or some stress about it. But I feel like this is just going to keep building and building and building until you're able to work through it. I feel like it's definitely getting in touch with your own emotions and feelings and and kind of getting those back under control and how do you speaking your truth and how do you really feel about the situation um, and what do you feel is the best resolution for yourself? What is the best outcome that you want for yourself? What is the results that you want? And you take those steps to make those happen, right? Whether it's it's this works out or this doesn't work out, but I just feel like staying in this energy. Like I feel like anxious. I like feel something in my back. I feel like this anxiousness in my, in my back and that, like this stress and this anxiety. And I feel like that's kind of what's going on here. Future energies. We have the emperor taking things under control. And that's what I was saying is, um, that's what you need to do in this situation is, is I feel like it's out of your con control. That's what I feel like is, is that you feel like it's out of your control. It's kind of all over the place, especially like when I was shuffling the cards and that it, it was like the cards were kind of falling all up. Like it just feels out of control here. And then we have the three of pentacles, which is working on gaining, getting things back into control. 
but you have to figure out what does that represent to you? What does that feel like? What does that look like, right? That if things are back in control, what does that mean to you? What is the definition of that for you? Um, you know, because everybody can, can feel different ways. And what does that mean to you? And that kind of gives you that goal to work towards, right? That if you say, okay, this is how I want things to happen, or this is what I, how I want things to be, or, you know, this is what needs to be changed. And to be able to express that and say that and so and work towards that. And then we have um, the Knight of Pentacles, which I feel like this calmness came over me. And it's like positive, good changes start to happen. And there's more of this stability that starts to settle in with this future energies here with the Emperor, the Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is, is that grounding energy of the pentacles energy and you're feeling more grounded um, over here I feel like it's kind of all over the place and it's figuring things out but then the future energies I feel like it's more grounded and back under control but like I said you have to define what that control back under control represents to you we have the two of wands and I feel like it's making some decisions and some choices in this future energy right what path do you want to go on which which is the path that's going to work best for you what does that represent to you what does that look like and make those choices to make that happen and then we have the hierophant which is taurus and it's having that faith and belief within yourself it's also that guidance and direction right and you feel like you're more back on track and then you're feeling more balanced with the two of pentacles like you've gotten that balance back so i feel like it's going to happen but i feel like you need to step up to the plate and that you need to be truthful with yourself about how you really feel about the situation and what does the conclusion or what does the results or the goal look like to you and start taking those steps to make that happen. And there may be some tough choices that you have to make, right? And facing some realizations that maybe you've been ignoring over here and that you've been seeing, okay, this has just been kind of happening and it's building and building and building and it's gotten to the point where it's time that you have to do something about it. You know, sometimes we just keep ignoring things and we're like, well, maybe it'll go away if I ignore it. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like it is, right? That falsehood with that moon there. We have Buffalo Spirit, the, un the, uh, the abundant universe will provide. And I feel like it's those signs that it's showing you that the universe is kind of showing you, and even with this reading, it could be showing you that this is a message, a confirmation message saying, okay, it's time for you to get things back under control. It's time for you to handle a situation and kind of face the reality. This moon card could be that deception within yourself, or it could be deception within this relationship or this thing that you love and facing the reality of, okay, okay, this situation has to come to an end or it's coming to an end or it needs to change. Let's grab a Oracle Tarot. We have spiritual strength, and this is the Nine of Wands. So um, finding that strength within yourself and that guidance within yourself um, and having that faith and belief. Um, feeling held up, feeling... Feeling that you're you're surrounded by like there there is strength around you that there is with the abundant universe will provide I feel like that's again those signs that are coming around to you those things that are kind of lining up and falling in place for you and I I just feel like you have like this spiritual strength that is around you. Um, that's looking out for you and that is trying to direct and guide you but I feel like you've kind of been ignoring those messages but I feel like it's now it's time to get in touch with those we have TikTok. time is going by right not wasting any more time um, time is short um, time goes by so quickly and we don't want to look back and say think about all of the time that we wasted on things that we could have handled and we could have dealt with and that we could have changed sooner so that we could, instead of focusing, spending time focusing on things that make us upset or angry or frustrated or not really speaking our truth and being able to recognize that sooner so that we can spend more time on those positive things that we like to focus on and those good things and those things that 
that make us feel better, right? Spending more time on that. Not looking back and feel like we wasted time because you can't get time back. We have reliable, so I also feel like this is like feeling like you are reliable within yourself and saying, okay, if I'm struggling with something, you know, if I'm denying myself something, if I'm not truthful with myself, you know, then am I really being reliable to myself? That if I'm accepting something that is less than what I feel I deserve or I'm accepting, accepting a situation that is not beneficial to myself, that can I really trust myself to put myself in situations that are good for me if I'm I'm showing myself, right, that I may be thinking one thing and I'm doing another thing and that it's time for me to kind of line those things up and being able to rely on yourself and trust yourself and say that if something needs to be done, that I'll get it done. That if I'm not happy with a situation, um, that I can do those things to change those things to make life better for me. Let's grab a Star Dragons. We have vision, contemplating the future. What does that future look like? What does it feel like? Um, what is that outcome? That's what I was saying before is what does that positive outcome look for you? Like what are those, what is that goal? Um, what are the results that you want to have and working towards that? Let's grab a Angel Answers. We have communicate clearly. I feel like that's a really good one. I feel like it's communicating clearly again what I was saying before is communicating clearly to yourself as to what are the results that you want to have, what do you want to have happen, and also communicating to that other person, if it's a friend or if it's a partner, a family member, somebody that is important to you, communicating clearly to the universe as what is you want to have happen, what is your goal, but being, being truthful in that communication, right, and speaking your truth and communicating clearly to that person so that this can be resolved and this can be worked through, whether or not you have to move on from the situation or how it needs to be worked out. But I feel like, at least if you're doing something, you feel like you're accomplishing something. That if, But if you're just ignoring it and you're just letting it be, then I feel like it's just kind of building up and you're not really taking control of that situation with this emperor card here, right? Because that's in the future energy is that it's time for you to work on taking control of that with this three of pentacles here, that it's time for you to get that under control and work on that. And yeah, it seems easier if we just kind of let things be or let other people take control of a situation. But if we want to feel powerful within ourselves and be in that emperor energy, that we have to do those things for ourselves, right? That we have to be reliable to, to ourselves. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.